All right, quick tutorial on the Photo One app. I will say that I did test this against a $400 PAR meter by Apogee and it was very accurate. It was about 10 to 15 PPFD off and uh, it, that gets us close enough. It doesn't have to be an exact science, but we just kind of want to get a gauge of what our plants are getting light-wise. So the app is free, um, but you will have to buy the add-on for our full spectrum LED. So if you click that little the little icon there, you're gonna get a bunch of different options. Some of them are free, you've got your blue and reds, you got, um, if you wanna do, if you're using metal halides, which I don't think anybody uses that anymore, but we used to back in the day. Um, direct sun, if you got your plants outside, so you got options. But for us, we wanna, most of, most of us wanna use these full spectrum LED. It's gonna say diffuser required. That causes confusion, <laughs> but it's really easy. So you're gonna take a piece of paper and just make a little loop that's gonna fit right over, over your camera. You can do it on your phone and then just tape it to itself like I did. Um, you're gonna to wanna to use 20 pound paper. So if you get like a light bill or electric bill, they use the cheap printer paper, it's 20 pound. That's fine, you wanna use the 20 pound because it is the right uh, thickness. And then you're gonna put this over the front. We're gonna see if I can do this with one hand. So it goes over the front camera. It did take me a quick second to uh, figure that out. And then, all right, so yes, definitely easier with two hands. So then you're gonna to wanna to take your phone and you're gonna to wanna to kinda of go over to your plants and you're gonna to wanna to put it my situation's different because I have a plant wall, so I measure different um, heights all over this wall just to kind of see what everybody's getting. But you're going to want to put, you know, put it next to your tallest leaf there, kind of angle it towards the light, and you're going to want to see what you're getting. So I'm getting about 100 on this little syngonium right here. That's a little low. I really try to go anywhere from 100 to 150 and then all the way up to 600, depending on the plant. So obviously lower light plants are going to need a little less. Higher light plants are going to need more. So um, let's see if we go a little, and then this is only about three feet uh, on the wall. Let's go up here and we get in like the line of one of these bulbs. Now, Sansies, they're not my favorite, I'll be honest. They're not the brightest, but they are good bulbs. So you got 150 up here, that's good. Let's see what we're getting where the GE is. I'm a little short to do this. So this is pretty close to in line of where the GE is and I'm getting about 190 and that's a good number. Um, so it just really depends on, you know, where you're going to mount your plants, where you're going to mount your lights, how your setup is. Um, I found like some, like even like Silver Dragon really don't like a lot of light. The only time I've been able to keep them alive is when they're well under 100, which is shocking to me because usually 100 is kind of my minimum. See like my elbows, see what they're getting. 140-ish. That's a little low for an album on Stara. You can actually blast them quite a bit, especially if they have a lot of white. The brighter light will help them. So I usually shoot for around 250 to 350 on these. 250 I feel like is kind of the uh, happy spot. So let me go over to my big elbow, see what we're getting over there because that baby's getting blasted. Let's see what we got. Now I've got three bulbs in here. GE and two of the bright nights and then I got another bright night here so um, this is gonna be a lot here I'm getting about let's call it let's call it 300 over here on this lower one this is actually the bottom cut of this white one 260 so you know it just depends on what you're doing and let me just show you this is the bright night bulb and this is about let's see 20 or so inches away and look at that reading insane that is why I like that bright night bulb. I am so sad that they discontinued the 36 watt bright night. All right, I had to stop the last recording. It started pouring and thundering. It was super loud, but I wanted to end on one last thing. And that's if you do these measurements and you find out that your plants don't have enough light, don't just immediately lower the light or bring the plants closer to the light source. Do it slowly over the course of a few weeks, just so that way you don't light stress the plants. Um, but I will say that this app, in my experience, and my testing has been pretty accurate. Again, doesn't have to be an exact science, just get close and you're gonna have bigger leaves, happier plants, healthier plants. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be good growing. Have fun.